Josh joins us now. We had sprinkles today we off did. and on. How's it looking out there right now? Really starting to dry things out, but the cloud coverage it does remain as we all prepare for some warmer and drier weather. So something we can all look forward to moving into Thursday and Friday. But that's just the start of the active weekend weather that we prepare to see with the return of an atmospheric river. Right now, a dry, cloudy live look out over downtown Portland on this Wednesday evening. 40 five degrees. That's why we currently say keeping those dry skies going through the rest of this evening as we approach the early morning hours. That's where temperatures will fall back into the low 40s after we managed to see a nice little drink of water for us here across the Willamette Valley nearing that three tenths inch mark closer to about four tenths of an inch found out along the coastline. But as far as that cloud coverage goes, still widespread right now, starting to break down though over parts of the coast range, just the same out along the coastline as we do anticipate the dry skies to hold steady with the exception of a few lingering snowflakes over the high train and the Cascades may be close to an inch to three inches with this winter weather advisory before it expires at 4 a.m. tomorrow. Of course, all of this is above 4,000 feet, so tricky travel up possibility, but great news for the skiers and snowboarders alike over the past 24 hours, piling up the snow accumulation to a couple additional inches as that base layer. It does continue to climb with a very snowy live look out over Timberline Lodge. Snow elevation levels, though, they are on the rise, courtesy that atmospheric river that arrives by the time we get Saturday, Sunday, pushing our snow level back up to about 6,000 feet. So that means some high elevation rain is anticipated to melt some of the lower snow elevations. As far as our drying train goes, that's what's in store for tomorrow for ski conditions. Just the same for Friday, but Saturday, that's when the winter weather once again ramps back up. As this lace system moves its way out of our location, high pressure dries us out for Thursday into Friday. Then we prepare for this next cold front, which will eventually transition into an atmospheric River. You'll notice that it's the flow of moisture from the state of Hawaii across the Pacific and ending right back up here in the Pacific Northwest. As you can see, the bullseye for the strongest point of the atmospheric river falling right in our forecasting area, anywhere from about Newport out towards Astoria and points of southwest Washington, expecting to see the brunt of this atmospheric river. That will really impact us here through the Portland, Vancouver area. Salem just the same. Nearing in some long range forecast models close to about three and a half inches. But in the short term, drying skies out for the rest of the night tonight. Tomorrow evening, expecting to see a few breaks in the clouds, enjoying just a little bit more of that sunshine before the cloud coverage once again returns for the start of the day Friday. It's not until Friday evening is when we anticipate to start to see some of the first few light rain showers of that strong atmospheric river. So as we approach Friday evening, nearing a couple of one hundredths of an inch to maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch found out along the coastlines. Tonight we keep our skies mostly dry and mostly cloudy. Temperatures falling back into the low 40s by sunrise. Tomorrow we get back up into the low 50s. We'll start to break down some of that cloud coverage. Enjoy a little bit more of that sunshine by the afternoon and evening hours. Of course, the atmospheric river, it starts to get underway for Friday evening takes us into a very soggy weekend, but look at what it does to our temperatures. Pushing close to the 60 degree mark by Saturday, Sunday, even the start of next week, and one week from today, feeling a lot more like spring with a forecasted high of 60 degrees and a little bit more of that sunshine. Yeah, it does seem like spring is just around the corner with temperatures like that. Yeah, we're gonna start to feel it for sure. All right, Josh. We're gonna take a break.